What it YouTube? It's your boy Bossy. I'm back with another video. Yes, I got the retwist. Yes, I got the barrel twist. And yes, my head tight as hell right now. But that's neither here nor there. We got a Bobby Lee Try Not to Laugh compilation of his funny moments. I was scrolling through uh, my reels and um, he's been popping up a lot. And I laugh when he talks. I don't know. It's just the stuff he says and the stuff he is. His timing is just perfect. We're going to get straight to it. What's the deal with airplane peanuts? Do you know how many animals I have now? No, no. that's also a follow-up question. I have four question. dogs. Whoa. Nice. And three cats. Nice. They're in my freezer. I'm going to have a barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love it. the delicious. I knew he was coming. I knew he was going to say something. The delicious. Is that just craft? It's American cheese. And I found that on a smash burger... These are the best. Okay. They melt so oh, fucking yeah. good. Okay. Okay. Just like you, they're single. <laughs> <laughs> and yellow. <laughs> Comedy. At the end, I would win. No, you're not. No, it'd be like Bobby like Lee water. fighting a young kid. You're not like water. <laughs> I'm not like water. <laughs> you're, no, you're you're not like, like sand? Like, I'm like sand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sand, like. You know how Bruce is like, you have to be like water. Like, I'm like, you have to be like sand. <laughs> barely move. You know what you are? What? You're like the stuff they put in those stress balls. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's in there, that's what you are. Yeah, that's what I am. What's your name? Ethan. Bring in the kid with the bad, um, bad friend shirt. So we can call shirt. him out for being a, a liar? Because I could, I could, this guy right here. Poser. I'm not a fan. Poser. Yeah, you know who he's a fan of? Who? Michael Lenoci. <laughs> oh, hilarious. <laughs> he doesn't know who that you is. Tell, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he loves what, Michael what's your, what's your name? AJ. AJ? He didn't sign up to be made fun of, by the way. Oh, oh I'm so sorry, AJ. So say sorry and I'm say... I'm sorry, AJ. I, I tagged you for no reason. I no, apologize. Yeah, yeah. For Are you an American citizen? <laughs> so am I. We have something in common. Well... What? I'm barely. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting where, my car next week. Where are you from, AJ? Uh, Massachusetts. He brings these... <laughs> look at He brings these kids here. Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you make them come or do you go, hey, um, do you guys want to come? Do you make these kids come? Yeah. It's like, isn't there, right. there's got to be a oh. million ways to ask them. <laughs> do you make these kids? Um, no, don't start with that way. Yeah, That's yeah, the wrong yeah. way. Do you, oh, how about this? I got it, right? Uh -huh. Do you make these young adults come? <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah. What do you think the funniest way you could die is? Well, I have this fantasy. I want I want my death to be a mystery. <laughs> okay. Right? So no one can solve it. Okay. So I want to disappear. Right? Uh -huh. And then one day in New York, they find my arm <laughs> wrapped up. Okay. In, in what? Just like in, like, you know, I don't know, a, some brown packaging. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like a brown paper bag? Like, like a paper yeah, bag, like right? Oil stains on the bottom of it? Right. And there's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. you know, string tying it together, okay, right? It's okay. bloody and yeah. moist, okay. right? And, you know, th maybe this arm, okay, right? Okay. So they know that it's me, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. And then I want them to find my leg, right, in Albuquerque. <laughs> I want them to find... Hey, like, but what the fuck did you do to these niggas? <laughs> Why are you dismembered <laughs> throughout the fucking country? Find my ass part okay. in your Mexico City. Part. What's your ass From part? From my waist down, okay. like, you know With what I mean? the penis? Yeah. Just, yeah, okay. In Mexico City, okay. all right? <laughs> I want them to find every body part around the world. <laughs> Or around the country, at least, right? Okay. And have people go, what the fuck happened? <laughs> and then have people like, it'll be like a thing where people are going to try to solve it. Okay. Right? For the re They'll never know. Okay. Right? So that's the kind of death I want. That's a great answer. Yeah. But I, th I feel like the moment when I'm being chopped up will be horrifying. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, 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 I wish I didn't have to live through that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that part's going to be sucked. Yeah, you know what I mean? That part's going to be like, What are you doing? What are you doing? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, trust me, it'll be funny in the end. In the end, song. right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or I want them to... I wonder if he just thought about that and actually asked the question or he like actually wants that to be his death. Find me in like maybe in a cow. Inside a cow. Yeah, <laughs> like a dead cow, and I'm like fully in it. <laughs> we called him on the podcast about naming a sandwich. Oh, yeah, uh, that's right. I forgot. Yeah. After you. Oh, that's what they, they, they didn't, though. No. Did you? We even don't, don't name them. The only people I named anything after were my parents. Okay, if you didn't name a sandwich, what would be in it? And it was Bobby Lee. Huh? And be racist. I don't care. <laughs> Give us the full. Just be real. Be real. If you were Bobby, forced to yeah. make the Bobby Lee sandwich, what would be in it? Come. <laughs> Oh, what type of bread? So cum. What type of bread? What kind of bread? Let's, all right, so. Be cum. What kind of bread? <laughs> it's a, it's a, just a it, cup of cum. Give me a plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they were doing a Happy Days remake, right? Uh huh. And out of all the Asian actors in your mind, right, that could do it, 
who would you be, who would be number one on your fucking wish list? Um, anyone from Crazy Rich Asians. <laughs> anyway. were, were, you, were you in that? They wouldn't see me. Oh, why is that? I'm not Chinese. Oh, okay. Korean. I know, but then they said, I'm not Chinese. Uh-huh. And then I see the fucking movie. Guess who's in it? Who? Ken Jeong. He's Korean. Is he really? Yeah. So oh. they fucked me. Do you know Kim Jong? Have you guys ever? I, I know Kim Jong Un. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know Ken Jeong. Because they can't get meat in North Korea and there's so yeah, many orphans bro. in the street. I, I don't even know. Because if you Google it, I can't find anything. Because there's no pictures or anything. Yeah, yeah. So this is what he told me. He goes, so he goes, there's so many orphans on the street and they get hunted for their meat. Oh, my God. Right? <laughs> so it's like, you know, I wanted to do like a little like uh, Annie, but North Korean version. <laughs> <laughs> right, and then you—if you did an Annie North Korean version, you would not have to cast a bunch of kids. Just have Annie running for her life. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, think the rest of the orphans are in people's bellies. Yeah, 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 right. But you could still have the same songs. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tomado, tomado. <laughs> Hopefully, I'll be alive tomado. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Now, have you been to Korea before? Have you been to people in Korea before? <laughs> That's what I heard, bro. Yeah. That kind of sounded like a like a Jimmy Fallon question. Yeah, yeah. And then now, now, have you ever been to now? Your people, have you ever gone and seen? <laughs> yeah. Would you ever go to like a sex? Um, um, you know they have these things called hedonism. Do you know what that is? Like uh -huh. a camp hedonism. Yeah. Would you ever go to one of those where it's I like would. a vacation? I would. Fuck party. I would. You would. Yeah, yeah. Why don't we? Why don't we do it? Let's set you up. Yeah, sign me up. But <laughs> is there a catalog of what they look like or not? You don't know. Oh, you it's like know, a Rochambeau. Yeah, it's like it's, it's like a lottery scramble. Thing. You're getting what you get. Right. And then do you, do you have to make love? I think it's part of... Can I just of the, show up and like eat things? Look up hedonism and see how much it is we can get Bobby over to hedonism. <laughs> can we get you to do that, do you think? Would you go on a little trip? Yeah, if... Uh, let's zoom in like on that guy's... Theme. Zoom in on his dick. Yeah, zoom on the dick. I gotta tell you something. Yeah, yeah. Pinch and spread, Pete. <laughs> Try and... I gotta tell you, oh. that's that's no bigger than yours, buddy. Mine? That's not bigger than yours. It's not. No, so I'm saying, shouldn't you feel comfortable now? I know, but he's going to want to fucking collaborate. So? <laughs> he's going to go, hey, what, you follow me on this, and then let's do videos together. And then the next not? thing I do, I'm doing sketches with this guy in a fucking <laughs> tree. Only fan sketches? Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. You know me, I, I can't say no I know. in that environment. So I'm going, oh, yeah. And I'm writing sketches. <laughs> you know I mean? Bro, the idea of just having a podcast with your boy, you just... Chatting, and then you just you got a department that just does research, and you be like, "Hey, yo, look this up right quick," and then he give you the details. Like that's so hard, bro. These are the podcasts I fold with. Like when you just chilling with you know, you just talk about random shit. You got, I like shit like right. That. And then it, can my girlfriend do it? Right. And then they're fucking. I'm not fucking anybody. And I'm like the head writer of their fucking. Hedonism sketch. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. Do you remember having a Bobby got stuck in a grill Jamaica? Yeah. He's doing like sketches now. Yeah, yeah. Full time. He's a showrunner in fucking Hedonism. <laughs> yeah, so during the Vietnam War, right, um, these Vietnamese monks, you know if you seen those photos? No. In protest, they would um, advertise in newspapers that there, a monk is going to light himself on fire. Oh, you know, so he would sit Indian style and put gasoline on him, and he would sit that way, light himself on fire, not move, and die. Out of protest. Oh my God. And you would think he would be like, ah, you're right, <laughs> right? But he would sit there in that Indian style, right? And it's like, so is it that painful or is that guy just fucking. That guy's proven a point. That right. guy's proven a Isn't point. Isn't that insane? That's, that is prove, mind over matter. Even if I was yeah. like, I have to prove this, but I have to stay Indian style, I don't think I would be There's like no that. There's no way. No. I'd, I'd be running toward a lake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the people that are in the movie are fancy. Uh, right. Yeah. So I sh so I sh so I show up. I'm in the hotel, and on the bed there's a letter, mm. and it said, "Dear Bobby, welcome to the me movie. I'm so excited to work with you. Meet me downstairs tomorrow at noon." And it said, um, "Jamie Lee Curtis." Yes. Insane, right? And I go, "Holy fuck!" So I'm like, all day long, I'm just like looking in the mirror, trying to like. You know what I mean? Look proper, like Hollywood. And, you're, and no, you're just, Did you suck in your cheeks? I'm just trying to look okay. like cool, you know what I mean? Yes. And, all right, and I show up, to, so I show up there at noon the next day. She's super sweet, like one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. And there was, but then there was other people, so she had written notes to everybody. So there was Penn and Teller, from, Penn from Penn and Teller, 
which he was in the movie Great Guy, one of the best magicians of, of all time. Yes. And then there was another handsome actor by the name of Cheyenne Jackson. Okay. He's like, yeah, you know, hot. he is super talented, so, handsome, super nice, right? Ooh, hot. Hot as fuck, I can't, right? Yeah. And I was looking at him, I was like, and he's gay, so I was like, I'm, I yeah. can't suck his dick. But my point, and he's also married, have kids. And I'm also, I'm not gay. Well, I don't know why sure? I just said that. But okay. my point is, is that, and Jamie goes, um, we're going to go, I want to show you something historical. So I'm like, just keep your mouth shut. Just, you're fine. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't say anything. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just kind of like a Christian. Uh, Was that good? Yeah. Yeah. Good. So we walk to this river, right? Yeah. And along the river, there's like these bronze shoes. Bronze? Bronze shoes. Oh, okay. Hundreds of pairs like on the side of the river. I go, look, shoes, right? And she goes, no, 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 you don't get it. She goes, during the Holocaust times, <laughs> you know what I mean? Hitler came in here, lined up all these people along this river, shot them in the head, and the Jews, and they threw them in the river, uh, right? Yes. And this, it's somber, right? Yes. Uh. <laughs> so then, look, shoes. Yeah, yeah. So then Cheyenne Jackson goes, oh, no. Mm -hmm. He goes, look. A little kid shoes, oh, no. right? And everyone looks at it, right? And there's these tiny little brown shoes there, right? And I yell out, "It could have been a midget!" I had a medical emergency. <laughs> when? I played. I, I hate that he built me up to to let me down like that. I hated that. Ping pong. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get any more stereotypical. I know, right? Uh, the way I said it, too, I play ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> um, I play ping pong, and then um. The next day, I looked on my thigh and my nutsack, and there was like a pirate scar from my pubes down to my anus. Oh. What? It was weird. It was like somebody had stick, stabbed me with a knife. Like, no, not to just cut me. What was it? With an, I don't know. So then I just... <laughs> it's still there. What? No, it was there, but then it turned into something else. So then I put antibiotic cream that Kalila had yeah. on it. And then a couple of days later, it was this purple, bumpy, <laughs> itchy rash that went from, you know, my thigh here all the way to, down to my fucking sack regions. Jesus. It was bumpy Why didn't you and go weird. To a doctor? I did, fucker. Okay. After it evolved. <laughs> it, it, evol it evolved. <laughs> that caterpillar turns to a butterfly. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to the, Dr. Kawashiri is my doctor, mm -hmm. and I and he's he's the best doctor I've ever had. He goes, "What's the matter?" I go, "I told him." He goes, "Pull it down." So I pulled down my pants, mm -hmm. and he looked at it. He goes, "Oh, that's common jock itch." So he brought that's me. That's what jock itch looks like. Yeah, he goes, "I know what to use." Yeah, and then I, he goes, "Now turn around." I go, "What?" He goes, "I got to look at your butthole, but." But he, what he didn't realize is that I had taken a shit oh, 30 okay. minutes before. Just listen. 30 minutes before it, and I was in such a rush. I didn't clean it all the way. Of so this is what did. Dr. Kawashiri did. Bend over. I bend over. He opened it, and then he closed it. <laughs> he put, he collected his stuff, and he just left. <laughs> he didn't even He say didn't say goodbye or anything. <laughs> he didn't write you a prescription. And, no, and when, when I went out, I go, he just left. And they're like, oh, yeah, he. this is the prescription you need. <laughs> he was discussing with you. He saw something so. No, heinous. he just he did this, closed it. I don't even say he said goodbye. He, he just left. Yeah, do you have to close the ass once you open it? Like, don't you just open it? And that's it. It kind of comes back. To yeah. it. No, no, my butt. No, my butt, no, mine's like play doh. <laughs> you have to put it back. Like, I wonder, like, was he disappointed? Was he like, did he? Was he scared? Did he? Was he just weirded out? Because honestly, if you a doctor and you see some shit like that, like, what do you say, like? You can't tell a 50-year-old nigga be like, hey, bro, make sure you clean your ass. <laughs> like, you, you just can't say that to the nigga, bro. That's so... Yeah, 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 you're yeah. so... Our ass is like, automatically... Like, no, yeah, mine doesn't just, do that. It has, doesn't have that his, elastic his thing. But stay open. It stays open like Play-Doh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I refuse to compromise. No more. Oh, we ate, you know, we ate steak last night. Let's go to this vegan place. I, before, it's like, okay, I'll eat that. Not anymore. Have fun. I'm going to Morton's again. Yep. That's where I'm at now. Yep. You mean? Oh, um, hey, we saw that scary movie last night. Let's watch this fucking romantic. No, fuck yourself. I'm watching the scary movie again. I'm, yeah. I'm, no, I'm not doing any of it. Go yeah. to my friend's wedding. Go fuck yourself. I'm not going.
brunch. I'll do that. Okay. I'll do brunch. Hey, yo, that's a fire job. Think about it, bro. Bro is literally just... That's why I fuck with improv so much. Because improv is just you being you and creating, creating, being able to create a joke out of nothing. Like, he literally just does improv and tells, like, memories. Just like the other dude. I forget his name, but... um. The other dude, he do the same thing. He just goes on podcast to podcast and just talks. And like, when you just naturally funny, stuff that comes out of your mouth is just naturally funny. And people anticipating you being funny, it's even easier to be funny because it's like you ain't really got to do much. Because I already know what you say gonna be funny just off of how you say it and your demeanor. I don't know. I think it's a fine job, bro. He just he has his own podcast, then goes on other people's podcasts and just talks. He literally just talks. That's so hard to me, bro. I need if you got a podcast, bro. Invite me out, bro. If any, if you have a podcast anywhere in Florida, invite me out. I get my own. I'll drive. I'll play my own plane ticket. I'll pull up whatever it take, bro. I just want to chill and just talk to niggas. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Let me know what you want to see next. And uh, shout out to Bobby Lee. We out. I know I'm wasting my time. I, I know I can't cross the line. I, I know if push gonna shove, when shit hit the fan, you gon' stand on the dime. I, I don't smash my own post. And now that I'm always gon' ghost. Go. If I'm sick and you fake like so, I'm hot like fire, come close my roast. I know you bitch. I know you a op. I 